What's up guys, it's me Kareem Jovian and today I'm here in Wall Street. What up guys, it's Frank Legend and we're going to interview some people again. Yes, today we're going to ask them about FTX, one of the biggest debacles and losses in the history of money. Who was affected, what did they do about it, and if they have any advice to someone who actually lost a lot in this event. So this event is crazy and we're going to learn a little bit about crypto, what people think about crypto, the markets, what they think about SBF, and we're going to get real New Yorkers reactions. Let's get into it. Let's go. Hi, what's your name where are you from? Anthony, New York City. So, uh, have you heard about the whole situation with FTX? Yes. And how do you feel about that? What are your thoughts on it? Well, it's basically a modern Ponzi scheme. And how do you feel he was so successful and gotten that, all that money so easily from big time people? Well, I mean, I guess, you know, he was a good seller. He was a good convincer. So, he basically fooled everyone. Look at the woman that did the blood uh, thing oh, out. Theranos. In, uh, Theranos, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. look at her. I mean, well, she's, you know, well-connected, had, you know, one person gets on board and, what you know, like anything in society, oh, well, well if my friend's doing it, I want to do it. Yeah. And yeah. so, you know, everyone just started piggybacking off of it. What do you think about crypto? I think crypto's bogus. <laughs> <laughs> I never liked it. I'm very sorry for the people that lost everything, yeah. but maybe this will wake people up to it's baloney. I, I mean, it's, you know, there's nothing solid or honorable about it to me. I think it's a lot of hot air. Yeah, well, I can't argue with that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, what's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name's Grayson. I'm from Florida, but I live here. Awesome, awesome. Today we're asking people about uh, the recent uh, collapse of FTX. What do you guys think about that? I don't know what that is. Do you know uh, the crypto markets and the cryptocurrency space? Uh, I know about cryptocurrency, but I don't think it's cool. Why not? What do you think about cryptocurrency? I just think it's another way for people to trade stocks, and I don't like trading stocks as a profession. Really, really. So do you think it's just like a, like a, like a scam? or like Because a lot of people lost a lot of money because of the FTX falling. Well, I think if you're making your career uh, trading currencies and switching types of currencies for other types of currencies, you're mm. not really contributing anything to society. So obviously you're not gonna have like a resilient uh, career because mm, right. if anything happens, you're gonna be like the first one that's fucked over because you don't have any real skills. <laughs> right, okay, so people are saying this is the biggest loss in history. Billions of dollars were lost and Sam Bankman fried the CEO of FTX, is behind it. What do you think about that? I don't really care. Any message for Sam Bankman Freed? Learn some valuable skills, maybe. What's your name, where are you from? Marquis, I'm from the Bronx. All right, so uh, did you hear about FTX and the whole cryptocurrency issue where everything was crashing and they let, a lot of people lost their money? I heard a little bit about it, I don't really know too much. What do you think about crypto? Crypto, I mean, it's cool. Some people made money, some people lost money. You think it's a scam? I wouldn't, nah, I don't think it's a scam. I just think it's new, people don't understand it. And normally when people don't understand something, they just want to call it a scam. All right, let's say hypothetically you had money invested in FTX, a whole lot of money, and Sam Bankman Freed just dipped with your money and it's gone and you can't get it back. What would you do? To be honest, crypto is not something I would put too much money into because, again, we don't really know about it. I personally, like, you feel me, I wouldn't trust too much money over there. They gave him like 250 million each. 250 million each? Yeah, yeah that's retarded. So, with the whole FTX situation, would you still invest in crypto if you had the chance? Yeah, under the right circumstances, I would, I would invest. All right, all right. One, Thank one, you. one bad apple don't, don't make the tree, you feel me? Smart guy. What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Justin. I'm from Detroit. All right, and we're asking everybody about FTX. Did you hear about what happened? Yes. And what do you think about that? Um, I think it's unfortunate for a lot of the people that were scammed. Does it change your mind about crypto and how you, how you view it? No. A lot of things were just willy-nilly. Um, so I don't think all of crypto should be viewed in that light, but I think FTX definitely had its issues. And what do you think it says about like our finance systems and how they were so easily duped by this guy who was basically just playing a whole bluff? I think it shows that people are looking to make a quick buck, but at the same time, um, I think there is a lot of good institutions out there and a lot of good companies out there. It's just unfortunate this one didn't have the right controls and stuff in place. And for Sam Bankman Freed, so yeah. um, if you have any message for him, do better. I get he probably went from zero to 100 as fast as it possibly could be, yeah. but do better. When you have that many people investing in your company, investing in you, you gotta do better. And for somebody who has lost uh, you know, a fortune in FTX, what advice would you give them on how to recover? Hang in there, keep your head up, and, and 
do your research. What's your name? Where are you from? Dabi Carreras. I'm from East Harlem. Actually, my name is Dabi Bahavin Carreras. But yes, East Harlem. Nice to meet you. So we're asking everybody about their thoughts on FTX. And, yeah. you know, I'm sure you know what happened. So what do you think about that? Well, I got to say, you know, he's not Warren Buffett. Yeah, they were saying he was the next Warren Buffett. He's not. Yeah. You know, did you see what Elon Musk said to him? He's like, oh, $3 billion, ha, 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 I smell bullshit, right? So it's not looking really good for him. You know, people are going to realize that they're unregistered securities. It's going to be the exact same thing in, like, 1928, 1929. If you, unless you have a physical coin that's registered, what do you have? So it's a, it's a little wild, but there's only one real thing that is money, and that's gold. And that's what people want to have because the amount of gold that in people's hands mm -hmm. is very little. You know, the amount of gold that's mined in a single year can fit on your dining room table. Mm -hmm. The thing is, it's not in people's hands. The only real asset of the four asset classes, real estate, equities, stocks, correct, stock equities, you know, bonds, mm -hmm. and gold, mm -hmm. FTX, crypto, it's not tangible. It has to be regulated. And once it gets regulated, then it'll be actually an asset class and it'll turn it asset. That's why wine and arts and things are flying up through the roof right now. But, you know, it's, it's commendable to see what he's doing, but it's not going to work. You know, people actually need real hard assets, real money, because you're seeing inflation fly through the roof. But we'll see it. We'll see it soon. We'll see it soon. So, yeah. so how do you feel about the fact that our our financial system trusted him so easily and gave him all this money with Billions. little to no you know experience or even proof of uh, being someone people want to trust you know and I, and I believe it it's important that people trust but there's no trust in the system that he had created with this exchange you know just like in 2008 there was no trust in the New York Stock Exchange and no one knew what they were buying they were buying junk things we're calling it today that the market is like okay but the market is really not we're actually in more than a recession we're actually we just saved off from going to collapse so now we're in the level of actually being in depression but when people see that President Trump is the president come January 20th 2023 when he's been the president the entire time they're gonna say oh my god we're in a depression Meanwhile, we're actually coming out of the entire collapse, depression, recession, back into prosperity. And when you see the stimulus, which will probably be about $7 trillion at that time, because we did the Coronavirus CARES, the CARES Relief, the Economic Security Act, the CARES Act, we're going to have to have a stimulus. And the stimulus is going to bring people from poverty, which we're effectively pulling into right now. So it's wild. All these different things sound very tinfoil hat but they're actual truth because most people don't realize that this happened already. In 1860 with Abraham Lincoln, we said that somebody else was the president and they were never the president. Jefferson Davis was never the president. Mm -hmm. Confederate president of the United States of America, not the president. <coughs> so, you know, then we see Nancy Pelosi, we see Camilla Harris, we see all these other people trying to run and move out. It's a, it's a big, uh, it's, it's, it's gonna be a bonanza, so it's a little crazy, but yeah. So, what do you, so your thoughts on crypto now? Do you think now the, the trust has gone you know, down the drain for crypto? Crypto has lost its credibility? Until you see myself as a New York City comptroller, you're going to see more and more craziness around crypto. I mean, I thought it was going to go from 70,000 to 20,000, 70,000 to 20,000 for a little while. Mm -hmm. It's staying stagnant at 20 and it should go a lot lower. Mm -hmm. Because what happens if you wake up the next day and you see, hey, you own some crypto, and now you have negative equity. Now you have to pay to even have that. What are Martin, you going to do? Right? Yeah, you're going to be jumping off the building, committing suicide. That's what a lot of people are thinking about. Mm -hmm. Because now they have lost their entire net worth. They thought they're worth millions of dollars. Now they're worth nothing. Negative. That's what it is, because it's an unregistered security. It's a Ponzi scheme. It's a money laundering. Elon Musk said it best. You know, the chief tweet, or chief... Twit, twit. Yeah. Chief Twit. I got to tell you, it's going to be really fascinating to see Twitter being like a, a trillion dollar market cap company. But in the interim, you know, people have to, you know, they're turning your money and their experience into their money and your experience. Until people see that, 
you can't say anything to them. It's, you're just a tinfoil hat. So yeah. And how do you feel about Elon taking over Twitter? I think it's tremendous. He's our genius of our day. Now, my goal as a New York City comptroller is to bring an Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos over to New York City because we need them. Yeah. We definitely. need because you know the benefit of New York City is we have a high density of people and a high level of skill. But right now, everyone's all fragmented and, and all around the entire country work from home. You know, I'm, I'm making people come to the office every single day. I used to only have 11% of the population come to the office. Now I'm getting 40%. Nice. I need 100%. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they're not going to learn anything. So I need to people to come back to work, understand paper is important, digital is, is wild, but QFS blockchain encryption code is the truth, and it's going to bridge the gap to the NFT. It's going to take some time, and you have to have regulation. You can't have regulation right now. We have a, a system that has no enforcement of law, no executive. It's just crazy. So it's a bonanza. Do you have any messages for uh, Do you have any message for Sam Bankman-Fried if he's watching this? Yeah. Tell the truth. Let people know that you're a fraud, and listen to Elon Musk. Listen to Jeff Bezos. Listen to President Trump understand that cash is king and the only real thing in the universe that is money is gold and I, I'm gonna tell you this I'm gonna say gold inside of the next five years will be up above five thousand dollars an ounce and silver which is the poor man's gold will be even higher a super cycle in silver so let people know the truth wake up letting people know before it's too late you don't want to be too late Right now is the time. And finally, for someone who's affected by FTX, what uh, advice would you give them on how to recover emotionally or financially? Open an account with Spartan Capital. Get back to basics, you know. The most important thing is to stay informed and live, uh, you know, to stay connected, you know. Having messages and, and having people that you can meet with, it's very important. You know, that's why I push people to be at the office, push people to get connection. You know, the, the WFH, you know, the work from home, it's great. But you're missing the, the understanding of the relationship. You're missing the understanding of connection. Stay informed and staying connected is a huge gap because a lot of people don't know what's going on in the world with you know all the different laws and the propaganda that's going on. The Smith Month Monetization Act, subsection 230, a lot of things going on, a lot of tr you know traffic, a lot of conversation. Stay informed, stay connected. That's the best set. So. What's your name? Where are you from? Stefan Macharski, I'm from uh, here, from New York. And uh, have you heard what happened with FTX and what are your thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's kind of like what happened with Luna, but I think that this may be more nefarious. What do you think about how the Sam Bankman-Fried just literally just was able to dupe the, the whole financial system into giving him all this money? I don't think that he has a conscience. I don't think he, he, he did it uh, just being himself, you know? It's, mm -hmm. He, nothing was regulated and he knew that everything was wrong, but he was still putting out a different image, you know? And what does that say about our financial system, that they trusted him so easily? Well, same thing as always. There was the thing with the Chinese uh, stocks uh, about 10 years ago, before that it was a derivative from, from the uh, 08 crash. Uh, I mean, people are greedy. Did you have any losses in it? Did you invest in anything? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And how are you coping right now? I mean, I'm okay, but uh, it's not, I, I, I got screwed in the Mount Gox one. Uh, oh, really? This one. Damn, you got. You yeah, got, yeah. Got <laughs> so finally, if there's anything else you want to add uh, to or say to Sam Bankman Free. I, I have nothing to say. Thank you so much for your time. I'm sorry about the losses, but you seem to be a smart guy. You're going to get it all back. Thank you so much, man. I just left a security gov job of a, a crypto guy that's panicking. What? Damn. New Yorkers are panicking right now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on those notification bells, and write in the comments below what you would like us to ask New York next. And be sure to check out Frank. See you guys next time.